Hi folks, it's Lauren. Hope you're doing well. Suppose it's your birthday and your friend made your favorite dish. She starts listing all of the yummy ingredients that are in the dish, which is sitting right in front of you on the table. You're about to dig in when you hear your friend casually say, and the last ingredient was just a little bit of cow manure, but it's just a tiny, tiny amount. You won't even detect that it's in there. Instantly, you freeze, fork in the air, just staring at the dish. It looks so delicious, but the dirty secret is out. There's no way even a little bit will be taken. I think this would be everyone's response to such a terrible dilemma. So although no one in their right mind would actually eat cow manure, do we see this scenario played out in today's processed foods? How often do we have a food item before us and little do we realize that there is something worse in there than cow manure, something really toxic that is known to cause cancer? Have you considered that most commercial brands of peanut butter out there, even the organic varieties, contain a toxin that is known to be deadly? People say, well, it's in small amounts, but now would these same people make the same excuse for a small amount of manure? Probably not. Let's look at some facts about the peanut. The peanut is in the legume family and not actually in the nut family. Peanuts grow in the soil, so that's one thing that makes them different from many popular nuts out there that grow on trees like walnuts, pecans, and almonds. Peanuts are extremely susceptible to mold growth, which is so widely known as allergens. It's the mold that is on the peanut that makes it an allergen, not the actual peanut itself. A simple definition of mold from Webster's Dictionary is a superficial, often woolly growth produced especially on damp or decaying organic matter or on living organisms by a fungus. The peanut shell is soft and easily absorbs anything, pesticides, fungicides, etc., from the soil. Large peanut storage sites like silos are commonly known to hold moisture and add to that dark environment and can most certainly have mold growth. Corn and wheat are products that are also susceptible. So peanuts are notorious for fungal infestation and therefore must be avoided, especially in the form of peanut butter. Any food that has a trace of mold on it should not be eaten. It's just not safe to eat. There are many people today suffering from candida overgrowth, fungal conditions, yeast outbreaks, and therefore consuming peanuts would not be a wise idea. Barbara O'Neill quotes from her book, Self Heal by Design, we must starve the fungus if we want to conquer candida fungus, and yeast outbreaks in the body. So although peanuts are not genetically modified, the peanut crop is rotated with the cotton crop. The cotton crop is genetically modified. So this means that the Roundup Ready chemical, which is the herbicide that's already in the soil, is where the peanuts grow. This means the peanuts absorb the herbicide. The herbicide Roundup Ready is called glyphosate and peanut butter batches were tested and these showed traces of a glyphosate. Friends, I hope I'm not depressing you with these unfortunate facts about the peanuts, but I promise that this video will have a happy ending. Let's talk next about aflatoxins. What is aflatoxin? Aflatoxin is commonly found in corn and peanuts. It is believed to be the most carcinogenic substance ever tested. Aflatoxicosis is well documented and has many times linked aflatoxin to liver cancer. Other studies link aflatoxin with cancer in the gastrointestinal tract and liver. Other studies say it definitely causes liver cancer. A great reference is the China Study, a well-known book on nutrition written by Dr. Colin Campbell. The book shows that the two most toxic chemicals ever discovered are dioxin and aflatoxin. Dr. Campbell was asked to investigate the unusually high prevalence of liver cancer in Filipino children. This was linked to the high consumption of aflatoxin, a mold found in peanuts and corn also. 
In his research, the peanut butter the children consumed was found to have far higher levels of aflatoxin than standard peanuts. So why does peanut butter taste so good if it has these chemicals on it? Well, as we know, peanut butter is made from the ground up peanuts and oftentimes extra oil is added for creaminess. The oils can vary, but if you see hydrogenated oil, definitely do not buy the product. It is made to taste extra good with added sugar. White sugar is not good for the body as we know. Regular table salt is often added to make it taste extra savory, but it's at the expense of our health because regular table salt our bodies can't deal with very well. Dr. Axe quotes, 99.9% .9 of peanut butter out there today is absolute junk, end quote. So just to recap, that peanuts are notorious for fungal infestation, and so the peanut butter will have the fungus growing on it as well as the toxins that the fungus itself produces, the waste byproduct. Peanuts contain aflatoxin, a very harmful substance for the human body, and because peanuts are often rotated with Roundup Ready crops, they will surely be at risk for absorbing those herbicides. The added sugars and unnatural oils only add more gas on this unique fire we have now about peanuts. Now you might be saying, but I buy the healthy kind of peanut butter. There are brands such as Valencia Peanuts, or also known as Jungle Peanuts, that contain the lowest amount of aflatoxin. They are organic, but why would you want to eat organic poison? That's my question to you. Remember the manure scenario. This is the happy ending right here. Why not just take advantage of the alternatives to peanut butter? There are so many. Almond, macadamia, cashew, walnut, hazelnut, and pecan butters are available in grocery stores and health food stores. Try them out. Seed butters are also delicious, such as tahini, which is ground up sesame seeds, and sunflower seed butter is also very delicious. These all have similar nutritional profiles and provide heart healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidants. The almond, macadamia, pecan, and hazelnut butter all have the same consistency as peanut butter. The seed butters are also similar in consistency. I also want to say watch out for Nutella. It's a chocolate-based hazelnut butter, but it's loaded with sugar and chemicals. Just look at the nutrition facts on the label, you'll see. The last alternative would be to grow organic peanuts yourself, but please keep in mind that they mold very easily. They must be dried out properly in the sunshine once they're harvested. They must be stored in the proper environment without being exposed to moisture. As always, friends, we must pray and ask God for wisdom, instruction, and understanding that we so desperately need for everything that we do and especially for gardening and farming. Consider 2 Corinthians 6, 16, which says, And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I pray that you have a very blessed experience in your health journey. And if you like the video, perhaps you'd like to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.